Hey, what's up guys? Time for another five minute game. And it looks like we're gonna have an English, which I'm comfortable with. It's a nice and cozy little opening. Where usually I get a playable position no matter what. And you know, I used to play something different, but I've I think I've been having a lot better time with this new system this this old system for me actually. But I kinda just kinda feel better with it. It's just so simple to play. Oh, I'm so I know what to do here. Okay, um, I like this position for for black. I'm all booked up here. C5, take take knight a5. I think that's not good. I forget why. I think knight d4 wins material or something. Let me just make sure. Yeah. Because knight, knight takes, bishop takes, his, his bishop on d2 is the problem. So I, I'm going to take on d4 with my queen, and I'm attacking his bishop, and I'm attacking his c-pawn. So this, this is going to be a very good start to this game. He's in, he's in deep trouble already. He's just going to be down a pawn in an endgame. <sighs> really? Well, first I can ask myself... I mean, I'm attacking his knight here. Rook takes c4 is interesting. Um, queen c3 is, of course, good. I'm just not sure that it's the best thing to do. <sighs> Spending some time because I could really put him away here. Knight f5 looks pretty good. And if knight b5, this is like a little annoying, I admit. Let's think. Let's think. I, I want to do something nice and technical here. I don't. I don't know. I don't know which thing though. Um, maybe I'll just take on c3. Let's see. Queen c3. Queen c3. Bishop c3. Bishop e7. Rook f to e8. Bishop g5. Rook c4. I mean, all right. I'm gonna just do that. You know, I'm gonna have an extra pawn. He might take my knight. He might take my queen. I don't know which one he's gonna do. Doesn't. I don't think it matters too much. All right. Played this one. I, I, I'm gonna just take this, I think. I'm gonna go rook e8. And then take a c pawn. And we're gonna play up a pawn and, and try to try to use some technique. It's not easy though. I, I realize he has the move b5, which is like a bit of pain, a bit of a pain in the ass. Although I do keep his rook out of a1 with my bishop. But it's it's a pain because, well, I mean we can't really we can't push our pawns. I'm probably gonna go rook a4 just to hold on. Then he gets the c file. Rook d5 maybe rook a. I don't know. He can't go rook a1 still. So if, if rook a3 then. We'll just play this endgame. I'll take on... I didn't see that, but I can go rook a4, right? I should go rook c5, actually. We'll just simplify things. I didn't see that. <laughs> um, Alright, defend. And now I feel like... I don't know. I don't know how to deal with this crap. Probably go here. If he takes his bishop, gets stuck. So he can't take. But you know, I'm like, I'm up a pawn, but it's it's very hard. It's very difficult, guys. I try my best. I gotta get some space for my king. I, what I'm gonna do is like bishop f8 someday. But then his rook can come to a1, which is annoying. All right, I'll attack this guy. Now he has the C file if he wants it, so I got to be careful with that. Um, G5, any good? I don't know. How about this move? To put the bishop on C5. Um, it feels like a nice square to me. <laughs> I don't know why. Nah, eh, whatever. I don't know that I needed to do that at all. It was probably probably a weird move. Defense. I don't know, man. It's tough. Oh, let's go back.
Rook D1. I think Rook D7 looks good. I'm just going to do this. Now what? Hmm, I walked into like a little pin of sorts. <laughs> I just now notice. I probably should not have done that. Bishop e5, rook d5. Alright, I give up. Question is, do I want a pair of rooks on the board still? Or are the two pawns... Is the one pawn stopping the two? And it's like, going to be a problem. I don't know. I'm going to simplify and just hope I can find a way somehow. It's going to be tough though. His one pawn is stopping my two pawns. I'm going to try to get my king to e6. It's a nice square for the king. Oh, I'm going to win his pawn if he's not... I think I'm going to win the... Oh no, he stopped me. Um, Hold on. Bishop a3 to... I just do this. It's a fast game. I'm trying to go bishop b2 now. I mean, maybe bishop f2 was even better, like he'd be in some zugzwang. Alright, well, I'm going to take it. So now he's going to try to... Well, he gets my c-pawn, but his bishop will get, like, stuck. I can also go here. I'm going to take a bunch of things. I'm going to assume that I'm going to be able to stop his one b-pawn there. Don't think it's going to be a problem. And I still have a minute 17 left, so. Okay, b6, king c6. I'm happy. Hmm. g5 any good? No, I don't see the point. Let's just stop his pawn. This looks strong. I don't see how he's going to stop my two pawns. So I'm going to, like, sack my bishop, just to keep things simple. I'll move this guy. Oh, did I blunder a little bit? D3 take, D2, I think, I'm, I don't know if I'm counting right. It looks like I'm getting a queen fast. Oh, queen D5 is going to be like mate. Or queen D7. Uh, let me think. Probably this one. And then I just take this. And it's all over, baby. I win again. You know, tough game. I'm not sure that I, I use the best technique here. Um, I know this position is just very good for me, but he defended well. It thinks just knight f5. Yeah, it looks good. You know, because after this, I can just... Queen e4, it says. What if I just take? Oh, because the e-pawn. And if he moves the king, I can take this pawn. So that's interesting. Because what I did... You know, he got some real annoying... And this is annoying. Because this one pawn block controls my two. And I really had to fight hard to win this. Very, very hard. I mean, I was always better. And even in this endgame, I was fortunate that this pawn became weak when my king got to e6. And, like, all of his pawns are on, on the wrong square. So I was always winning, but it was tough. It was tougher than it should have been based on that opening where he kind of kind of played a tip typical bad move that people play with that um, queen b3 move. Queen b3 is just bad for white. Uh, the, the, the right move from a game Fisher Petrosian is uh, c5. Oh, no, no. Wait. I think that's from Fisher Petrosian. I know Christensen had the game with black uh, where they went c5 here, but I think there was also a Fisher Petrosian line game with c5, and I know it goes like this. Queen a4. Or wait, is it knight b5? Hold on. Just trying to remember to move here. It's not queen a4 because bishop f3. Knight b5 is a6. I, just, I can't remember anything always. Oh, rook c5. Why can't I go rook c5 here? It looks good to me. Hold on. I'm just going to turn on Houdini. Maybe Houdini will find, find the right moves for me. Queen a4. Yeah, and then, and then I know 
some queen e8 move. Oh, okay, a6, bishop takes, queen e8, yeah. And it's like some smallish advantage for white somehow. I forget. For black. Black, sorry, but not really serious. Maybe it's not really an advantage for, for black. I don't know. It just doesn't seem to like my position that much. Bishop c6, is this what it was instead of a6? Yeah, I can't remember anything. Whatever, I know it's fine for black multiple ways. Anyway, yo, see you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye.